What's going on guys and welcome to Season 1, Episode 9 of MDK Production School. Today we're going to take a detailed look at the playlist and all of the features that are inside of it. So as we already know, the playlist is where we arrange our entire song. It's where you take all the individual elements of your song and combine them together. If you're using FL Studio 11, like I am, and you scroll all the way down, you can see that there are 199 tracks in total. So we have quite a lot of room to work with. As I've mentioned before, we can go to each of the tracks and we can right click on them to rename or change the color. We can set an icon for these, just like we did in the step sequencer. And there's a lot of other options as well. Depending on exactly what you're doing, you may or may not need to look at these. If you hold control and then scroll with your mouse wheel, you can zoom in and out horizontally. If you hold alt and then scroll, you can zoom in and out vertically. If your mouse has a middle mouse button, you can click and hold this and then drag to navigate the playlist much quicker. Generally speaking, working in the playlist is very similar to working in the piano roll. The toolset that you have available in the top left corner is nearly identical, and so are a lot of the options inside this drop down menu. Just to quickly recap on our tools, we have our pencil tool, our brush tool, the delete tool, the mute tool, the slice tool, the select tool, the zoom tool, the playback tool, and we have this one right here that's different. This is our slip tool. With the slip tool, you can click on any pattern and you can drag to the left to shorten when that pattern starts. This could be somewhat helpful, but to be honest, I would much prefer to press C, bring out my slice tool, and then just cut the pattern and do it manually like this. I feel like it's easier to control it that way, but that might just be my opinion. Let's undo those changes for now. You can also hold control and then click and drag to select things. You can hold shift and then click and drag to duplicate them. You can press delete to get rid of selected clips and you can copy and paste things as well. We can change the grid settings of the playlist just like we did in the piano roll. If you click the magnet icon, you can see all of these familiar options. Generally, I like to leave it on cell or beat or bar, just depending on what I'm working with. Although if I'm working with an audio clip and I need to cut it up into really small pieces, sometimes you want to work with something a bit smaller than these settings. This is when you'd look at settings such as quarter step or half step, because then you can get much smaller cuts. You can also select none from this menu to bypass the grid entirely. Or when you have another option selected, you can simply hold alt on your keyboard and then click and drag a clip. If you're moving around your pattern clips and they start to get messy and look like this, you can select the patterns that are out of time and then change your grid settings to the appropriate value, which in this case would be step. Then go to the tools menu and quick quantize the start times. And you'll notice that once again, all the patterns start at this bar right here. If you go to this black bar at the top of the playlist and right click on it and drag, you can set this red region. So now instead of playing back the entire song, FL Studio will just loop this red section. So if I put the cursor here and then hit play, we'll hear it play this last little bit and then loop back to the beginning. This can be really handy if you have one part of your song that's really problematic and you need to keep listening to it over and over as you adjust things. To remove the loop, just double click anywhere on the red part. You can also press Alt T on your keyboard and this brings up a location marker. We can give it a name and now you'll see that the black bar at the top expanded and it appears up here. If you put your cursor on the leftmost edge of the marker, you can click and drag and reposition it anywhere you want. You can also right click the marker and this lets you delete it or rename it. So that covers the majority of what the playlist can do. It's a pretty easy follow up after you've learned the piano roll because like I said, they are quite similar. It's important to practice using both the playlist and the piano roll quite a lot. This is to make sure your workflow improves and that you just get a lot faster at production. Hey guys, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Feel free to leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Don't forget, if you're interested in trying FL Studio for yourself, there's a link in the description to save 10% off all ImageLine software. When you're ready, click that next button and I'll see you in the next lesson.